Our Boomtown series continues on up with Krem. This morning we are talking about the podium. So the podium is Spokane's newest sports facility and it features a 200 meter hydraulic indoor running track and already two national championships are booked at the podium in the next year. Construction of the $53 million facility is now complete and this morning we are getting a first glance inside the brand new world class venue. So Nicole Hernandez is live there this morning and she's speaking with the event manager for Spokane Public Facilities District. Good morning, Nicole. Can you show us around? Good morning, Channing Tim. So yeah, this place is absolutely gorgeous, brand new, like you guys mentioned. And I just want to give you our bearings a little bit as to where we're at right now. We're in the entrance now. We've moved away from the actual, you know, the track and the stands. But right behind these doors behind me is actually River uh, Front Park, that, that brand new Ice Age playground. So that's right where we're right in the middle of downtown, just at the heart of the city here with this brand new, beautiful building. I have Paul Christensen, Christensen here with me, and you're the know-it-all for the the building Thanks. you know all the yeah. stuff so so we're we're at an entrance right now so what's here this is our main dining hall that we have we have two concession stands in the building and, and this is the main eating area and just just to our south here is here is the uh the playground that you mentioned and uh Riverfront park put that in just over the last summer and it's just a huge addition for us um, for a lot of the little kids that are running around this building that their their brother or sister's playing in a volleyball tournament and it gives them something to do to get outside and 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 uh you know, just quit running around our building and get out in the park and play. So tell me behind us, what, what's special about these up here? These are the, this is some of the artwork that we've put into this building. And uh, these are, this is done by a local artist and uh, we have lots of little names for them, but uh, really neat addition to the space. And at night, it's just a beautiful piece. Uh, I was eating dinner at uh, Anthony's the other day and you could see these lit up from a long ways away. So it's, it's really neat to see this from the park. How cool, especially because from this view, you can even see the pavilion as mm -hmm. well. So uh, this is one of two pieces and soon to be a third for Correct. artwork here in the podium. Uh, and of course, I mean, if we want to walk this way a little bit out, you can kind of come through these tunnels entrances. There's five tunnels here to enter into the actual stadium part as well. So this is obviously number five. And as you continue going through, you get to the track, which is absolutely gorgeous. And what we'll show you more about the track and, and the stands and, and everything that this, like you mentioned, world-class facility has to offer here coming up soon. So I'll send things back to you guys for now. All right, thanks, Nicole. Gosh, Such so a gorgeous beautiful. facility. It really is. I love seeing it on TV and I can't wait to check it out in person. Absolutely. Now, one of the biggest benefits of the podium is actually its location because the facility is in downtown Spokane. Yeah, so most venues like this are usually on the outskirt of a community, but with the podium, any tourists, visitors, athletes, coaches, they have the opportunity to do their race, go back to their hotel, walk through the park, get something to eat, walk around downtown or even warm up on the Centennial Trail, which is just outside of the doors. So what sets this facility apart? Well, organizers say this venue will bring major sporting events in Spokane, and they say the arena can host large spectator events and even cater to the specific needs of tournaments. It also has the space to host a number of courts or fields. However, city officials say the arena and convention center can still provide supportive space for the tournaments. Our Boomtown series continues all morning on Up With Creme. Coming up in our next half hour, Nicole Hernandez taking us all around the facility, plus telling us how future events could bring millions of dollars every year to Spokane.